Hey guys, so today I wanted to make another video because I have been in Switzerland for about a week now and I still haven't made um, a video updating anybody about that or talking about my first week here. And I thought it'd be a good time to do it now because I'm on a bike ride and I'm just surrounded by these beautiful Alps and it's just so beautiful and I gotta find somewhere to sit though so I can focus on the video more because right now the sun's in my face, the wind is kind of blowing, but I just want to show you real quick my view because it's so pretty out here. Okay, so it's about 10, 15 minutes later. Still breezy, but hopefully it's not loud enough to where it will interrupt my voice or something. I have a bad, bad habit of filming while it's windy or, you know, holding the camera when it's windy. Just, and I go back and I look at my videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I can't hear myself or what I'm saying. It's uh, like it just the wind completely drowns my voice out. So yeah, I am back in Switzerland. I know I've already showed you all the mountains, but but just look at this. It's so gorgeous, just all around. So it's kind of funny how I came back here to Switzerland. I had planned on traveling with my sister, but she couldn't do it, and I just basically decided to go ahead and come anyway. I had already told my friends, and in April, I went ahead and saved up enough money from working to buy the ticket, plane ticket, and just come on over. My flight only costed $7.50, but it was because I booked it like three months in advance. I flew into Zurich and I will be flying out of Zurich. I'm staying in a small village here in Graubünden and for me, this is the most beautiful area in Switzerland. Hands down, like, I've been all over Switzerland um, pretty much. I haven't visited every place. Like, for example, I have still not gone to Geneva. Um, nor have I visited like Appenzell or Interlaken, that whole middle area, but like Zermatt and the Matterhorn, Bern, Basel, Schaffhausen and the Rheinfall, Bellinzona, Lugano. I took the Bernina Express one year, twice. I've pretty much have gotten to see a lot of Switzerland and for me, where I'm staying is by far my favorite place ever. It's just so beautiful here, and I have decided that this time I'm here, I know there are hiking paths in these mountains. I haven't hiked yet. You know, there's a lot of areas to bike ride to, and just in this area, but also in all of Graubünden. This is a great spot if you love hiking, if you love climbing, if you love cycling like anything outdoorsy this is perfect because there are some areas of switzerland where it's pretty flat not all of switzerland is the alps from what i've seen in the area of graubünden close to Liechtenstein, um, as you're leaving zurich and going south you start to see more alps when i drive from zurich to basel by train it's kind of flat it's just not like the alps so down south where zermatt is of course in the matterhorn there's some mountains and i guess in the central of switzerland obviously since there's like a big ski resort or something what i just showed you switzerland doesn't look like that everywhere for me this is one of the greatest places in Switzerland if you want to hike. Like, it just is. It's beautiful. The weather here is the best. I've been told that it's the sunniest part in Switzerland, and I find that to be true. When I go to Basel, it's always rainy. I don't know why, but there's always cloudy skies, and it's always 
just rainy looking and over here it's like sunny and it's actually like today it's pretty hot it's definitely about 88 degrees <sighs> yesterday it was 90 I'm like yeah and we don't have air conditioner <laughs> so I just wanted to point out something like or mention something since I um, have been in Switzerland I find everybody here to be so friendly just super nice they will actually look at you and smile and say hello or sali or grizzi like they just with the morga it's just really they're so sweet they're so friendly they're so open i just love being here of course i'm in like the rural part of switzerland it's more countryside i don't know if y'all can see it that great or i'm gonna be in the shadow but like all of this is farmland you know pretty much this area has a lot of farming they make a lot of I guess cheese, milk, there's a lot of vineyards, they're known for their wine in this area, so there's, it's just more rural. Coor is like 10-15 minutes away, and then you have Zurich, which is only like a little over an hour by train, like, you know, Switzerland's such a small country, it's like, if you live out in the country, you're not like far from any big city or anything, you're just not. Switzerland's great. I just cannot say how much I love this country. Pretty much the only thing I don't like, like the main aspect is of course, it is super expensive here. Anyways though, I just wanted to give like a small update of me being in Switzerland and just say I'm back, I'm happy, like it just feels so good to be back here in this country, back with my friends who, gosh, their boys have grown up so much, like all of them have deep voices and I just remember how they were when I first arrived here like five years ago and they were all like, you know, still in elementary school. Now they're like teenagers and starting their apprenticeships and I'm just like, wow, like it's just so cool. Like I'm like their big sister or something. Anyways, I hope to do more videos soon talking more about the Swiss culture. Like, I don't know, I just have a lot of ideas for videos to share about the Swiss culture because I just really, really love it. So anyways, thanks for watching and yeah, I'm gonna get back on my bike and ride home because yeah, I got some things to do. So yeah, see you guys.